Welcome back everyone to a quick Lego Star Wars rumor video. I figured I would start bringing these back a little bit more. I know the whole leak thing of course is uh, kind of going on but again at this point this is just strictly rumors. No pictures or nothing. I'm just kind of breaking the news to you guys about what's kind of you know, floating around the internet. What are some of the rumors currently going on? And uh, yeah, this one is being a Lego Star Wars promo uh, for the Lego store and Lego shop at home on um, the latter half of 2021, uh, presumably September or October of this year. And uh, it being a uh, new Lego Star Wars uh, Star Destroyer promo. Uh, and pretty much will have 396 pieces, an Imperial Officer minifigure, and it'll be available with purchases of over $120 of Lego Star Wars. Um, actually, I mean, it doesn't, even, it doesn't even claim Lego Star Wars, but I'd, I'd assume it would be Lego Star Wars. I don't think they would do a promo like that and you know, allow you to go in there and uh, buy a pick a brick with it and you get it. So it, presumably it'll probably be a Star Wars promo if this is legitimate. And uh, pretty much my thoughts on it is uh, if this if this is true, if this were to happen, which uh, it could happen, again, it, it seems a little too good to be true and just like kind of a little random. But, but they've definitely done promos like this for other themes in the past. You know, just one example real quick, you know, the Avengers Tower with Iron Man. But uh, in my opinion, I think if they were to do this, I think this would correspond with the, uh, the $800 UCS set uh, being released. Since at that point, you know, you walk in there, uh, you know, you buy an $800 uh, set and then you guys get a $120 promo. I doubt it would be an exclusive to just getting the $800 set. I mean, they did, you know, that with the uh, the Coliseum, but I feel like, I mean, although that does make sense, uh, I feel like that might be stretching it. I mean, if someone has to go in there and spend $800 to you know, get this promo, I mean, it'd be definitely exclusive. Like, you know, don't get me wrong, it'd be an awesome promo at that point, but, you know, the aftermarket would be every bit of probably 200 bucks for it. But uh, nonetheless, it's either going to be that or, I don't know, $120 also seems a little cheap. I don't know. I think like 200 bucks would have made more sense because, I mean, that's technically like a $40, like, midi scale Star Destroyer at that point. Like, the one from like 2008 or 2009, like, basically, that's just going to be that set just rehashed in a promo for Form. so uh yeah that's pretty much the rumor guys uh again don't hold me to it uh that i'm just breaking the news well, kind of uh, broken by a few kind of random sources but uh over the past couple days a few more reliable sources have kind of covered it so uh definitely could be true but again we got a long time to uh, kind of wait and uh, see if it is true but nonetheless guys i'll thank you guys all for watching uh, please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video bye guys